Hello everyone, very important question for the test automation interviews. How do we handle this session with the cookies in the Selenium app driver? So for any application when we use our valid credential username and password and we login into the application browser creates a cookie and this cookie will store the session related information. Okay, once you logged in if you go to the let's say application tab here you will find the cookies section. Okay, so let's try to log in with the username and password and I click on login. You can see here it has added few more cookies. Okay, so with the help of these cookies it maintains the user session. So currently this user is logged in into this application. Okay, and as these cookies are already stored in the browser, I am able to perform different actions in this application. Okay, so as my session is still alive, I can perform, I can go to any web page, right? And I can perform any action in this application. So if I clear this cookie, and now if I refresh the web page, you will see browser now do not have any cookie related to that session that already created, right? Previously created. And that's why user got logged out. So in our test automation, so what if we can reuse the cookies? In one test we will log in into the application and then we will save those cookies whatever it created and we will reuse those cookies for another test. So as you can see I have two methods save the cookies here I will log in into the application and I will save the cookies and in this another test engine method I will directly reuse those cookies instead of login again. So all these are the simple step for opening the chrome browser and we will log in into the application using the email and password. So after that we need to save the cookies. So in Selenium Web Driver we have different methods by which we can uh, get the list of cookies. We can get the name of the cookie or value of the cookie. We can delete the cookies as well. So now we need to store the cookies. So you can use the driver dot 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 manage dot you have get cookies method. Okay, so this method will retrieve the set of all the cookies after the login. So for this application, if I log in into the application, okay, so all these cookies it will give in the in the form of set. So once we get the cookies that will be available in the set, so let's create a set reference. So this is set of cookie, right? So just import this from the Selenium package and set we can import from the java.util package okay now we have all the cookies after the login so now let's print those cookies using the simple for loop okay just to verify so for for every cookie in this all cookies okay so we will open the chrome browser then we will go to this website then we will log in into the application using email id and password okay and then we will get all the cookies using this get cookies method when we are simply printing this in this method now okay so let's run this and then we will see how we can reuse the cookies okay so test got completed we have some warning related to the connection reset no issues but here you can see the list of cookies okay so we got around six six cookies after the login and uh, if you see the manual also we are able to see six cookies in the application tab so now in this second test we will not log in into the application we are directly reusing the cookies now so whatever cookies we have in this variable that we are going to use in this another test engine method so in this method we will directly open the chrome browser and then we will navigate to the url of this application again okay so instead of login step that we have used in the first step we will directly reuse the cookies now so again i will use the for loop to add the cookies from this all cookies so this is local for this test ng method so let's make it global let me define it at the class level okay we define it at the class level so that will be stored in the first test and in the second test we will directly reuse 
so now we just have to add the cookie one by one so what we can do is drive dot manage dot we have add cookie method okay and you just need to provide the cookie name so this is the cookie so using this for loop for every cookie available in this all cookies set we will iterate one by one and we will add those cookies one by one into our driver and after the login let's say i will directly go to this any web page okay and to verify whether it is working or not let me give some thread dot sleep here and then we will quit the browser okay so very simple logic in the first test we will log in into the application we will save the cookies and in the second test we will directly add the cookies one by one by using this add cookies method okay so we are not performing any login step in this second test so it should work so let's run both the methods now by click on run all So first test, it login into the application and save the cookies. In the second test, so as you can see, it has reused that cookies and that's why we are able to navigate to this page, right? We did not perform any login step in the second test ng method. So this is how by using this get cookies method to store the cookies after the login and reusing them in another test ng test by using this add cookies method, we can avoid the login step. To be written in each and every test engine method. So after reusing the cookies, if I delete all the cookies, let's see what happens. So for deleting the cookies, again you will use the draw dot manage, and here we will have delete all cookies method. Okay, so whatever cookies we stored in the driver by using add cookies, all cookies will be deleted. And after deletion, if we try to refresh the web page, then it should go to the sign in page, right? So let's run it again. So login into the application using the valid credential and save the cookies. And in this we will reuse the cookies. Later we will delete the cookies and refresh the web page. Okay, so user landed on the sign in page now. So this is how you can answer the question if someone asks you in the test automation interview.